Today I want to tell you about a tool that I actually think should be built into every macOS operating system by default. It's by Rogue Amoeba and it's called SoundSource. It usually just lives in the menu bar right up here and it basically controls the sounds that are coming out of your Mac as well as the microphone very detailedly and it actually gives you the option to also run effects on the sounds that are coming out of applications or out of your Mac in general. What I love about this is that it gives me a much better interface to work with my Mac, have an overview of what is going on, the microphone can disable it and also choose which one should be my system microphone very easily and with my output, I have much more that I can do there. For example, you can actually balance the audio left and right if you want to do that. So sending all of the audio left, all of the audio right, or more to the left, more to the right. Then you have a simple 10 band EQ, as well as a headphone EQ. Those are standard of sound source so that you actually can basically make your sounds sound even better. Then what I also have here are the effects that are available via VST. So in my case, I have playlist writer clear as well as ulean loudness meter. In this case, for example, the loudness metering would be an application which is actually tracking how loud the sounds are that are coming out of my Mac so that I can see what is going on there. This is really useful when you're live streaming, for example, and you want to make sure that things are going to be as loud as they should be. Playlist Writer, on the other hand, is a VST plugin that makes sure that things are exactly as loud as I want them to be. So this helps me, for example, if things are really quiet in a movie and or video on YouTube, this will actually make them usually just as loud as everything should be when I am listening to it so I don't have to change the volume on my computer much. And this is actually possible on a application layer. So I can go in here and say Arc, which is my browser, should actually have a playlist writer on it, but my whole system shouldn't. And this, for example, is something I use when I am playing back videos or watching movies because I don't like how movies are notoriously silent in certain segments and then super loud in others. So that's why I am running the playlist writer on my video player app and sometimes on my browser as well. Another really interesting thing here is that you can actually redirect the sounds from specific applications to certain outputs. So for example, when you're listening to music in the music app and you want to send those sounds out of the, for example, the headphone jack of your computer when you have something plugged in there, then you can decide, okay, I want to have that go to my monitor or the other thing that is somehow connected to my computer, but I want to have all of the other sounds come out of my headphones, for example. So that is also a possibility here so that you have control over where the sounds should come out of. And that was my intro to Sound Source, an application that I believe should be built into every single Mac, but because it's not, we have to purchase Sound Source from Rogue Amoeba, and I have done so many years ago, and I absolutely do not want to miss this application on my Mac. So now you know how to be in control with the sounds of your Mac, redirect them to other places and have effects on them as needed. And I'll see you in another one.